Thanks for uh, talking to us, Mark. A um, couple of questions principally this week. First of all, looking back on the Loughborough game, six wins out of the last seven. How do you summarise that? Well, it's good form, really. I mean, if you take away the glitch at the start of the Richmond game, where we conceded 21 points and effectively gave them the game, but we could have come back and we got two bonus points at the end with the Ollie Brown try. I think we, we, we've been playing well and the lads have really dug deep. Um, we've obviously had some dips in the season, uh, but at this level you're going to get that for one reason or other injuries, slight loss of form. Uh, however, I've just you know I've been extremely pleased with the attitude and the performance, particularly in the second half against Loughborough, who let's face it, it was uh, 12. They had 12 levers. It was their last home game of the season. They were massively up for it, and they were in the lead at half time. And you know we really did dig deep. We had we copped some pretty serious injuries in the game as well. And I've got to give a lot of credit to the players, particularly the young ones who you know came through and really stood up to the player. What's the missing ingredient that uh, we've in, in, introduced in the last few matches that we're perhaps missing earlier on in the season? Uh, I, just, well, I don't know really. I, I think we've prepared the same. I, I think confidence has got a lot to do with it. I think buying into the, the game plan has got a lot to do with it. But I, I also think you've got to give credit to other teams. If we'd have won every game, we'd have been the champions. Um, Blade and will Blade and have lost games yet they're still up there. If we look back throughout the season, I know this isn't an end of season review, but they're clearly are games we could have won, um, and maybe should have won. But by the same token, we got away with a couple, so it, it balances itself out really. But overall, I just think that the lads have had focus, and you know we've we've had a bit of a good run. We face Blackheath on Saturday here. Uh, one of the Fylde's oldest fixtures, or older fixtures, uh, how do you look forward to that? Well, as you say, I think it's great that you, you drive down um, Blackpool Road here uh, and instead of seeing Beverly at home, you're seeing Blackheath at home, and with all due respect to Beverly. So I think when I first started, one of my main ambitions was to get far back to a level where they, they are playing Blackheath, Richmond, Coventry. Yeah. Uh, etc. So, you know, it's from the club's point of view, I just hope that we get a really good gate down and uh, that we can we can turn up and play like we've been playing over the last few weeks. There's no alter immediately alternative attractions in rugby terms, you know, there's no Heineken, there's no internationals and so on. Uh, I mean, what have you felt about the level of support for the team this year? I've got to be honest, I just, I think from the people who come, it's brilliant. I just wish more people would come down because it's entertaining, we do play an entertaining brand. Um, we've got a lot of quality players from both teams uh, on show. It's a great facility, the, the beer's good, the pies are good, uh, the banter's good. And you know, what else is there to do on a, on a sunny afternoon? Or, or even in the middle of winter, come and cheer yourselves up and go and, and be warm. I just wish we could get another 200, 300 people coming through the gate. I, I don't think it's beyond the realms of possibility to have a thousand people watching us and you know from the club's point of view I think we should be working massively towards it. You've described the town as one of cockle pickers and hairdressers. Uh, uh, there still is a, an appetite for rugby locally and uh, I you know you must have seen that over the time you've been here. Absolutely um, and we're better to come than, than far that. Yeah, I do think that you know Rugby lovers in this area are blessed with the fact that you know that there is filed on the doorstep. Um, the local schools all play rugby. Um, when I go out into the town, everybody sort of wants to talk and ask how how, how things are going. Um, you know, obviously, you've local football, but I think that enhances it. I mean, Blackpool Fleetwood as league teams. You are the AFC filed. You've got two cricket teams. Uh, there's athletics team. I think sport is vibrant on the Fylde coast, and with all your hockey, etc., etc. So, and I think we're, you know, a top level in terms of, you know, league position in in the northwest. So we've got a lot of good ingredients for for the Fylde area and beyond to come and watch us play. Finally, uh, it comes the time of the season when you must be looking ahead to the next season. Inevitably, 
uh, issues of squad building, retention, re-signing of players, and so on. Now we're not expecting you to say anything, you know, uh, serious at this stage. But uh, what kind of issues does that pose for you now? Well, um, we are looking to get the squad in place. I want the squad in place by the end of May. At top end really. There will be other players that may be coming into the frame throughout the summer, that, that's always the case. We know that we are losing a few players um, and I know that there are some players I've been talking to that are interested in coming, but my key primary driver at the moment is to get the core personnel of this season signed, the experienced players, the younger players, so they're stable, they know what they're doing next year. I also then want to look at bringing new players in and so we can get a strong squad because people said to me last summer, uh, oh you're signing all these players, uh, how are you going to manage them, why are you doing all this? Well, the proof of the pudding is on Saturday we had at least 10 unavailable players and the young players who have been waiting the turn patiently, playing in the Hawks came through and because they've been training with us and they're part of our uh, probably the best outside the Premiership in the North West Academy and development system I think the way we develop young players you know is far ahead of any other club in the area um, and I think that that shot through so you know we have to build a strong squad and we have to have a good competitive level at second team and in depth and in depth absolutely yeah. thanks very much indeed Mike